In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve three simultaneous equations. There are some exam questions on this topic in the video's description. So here are three equations, and you'll notice we have three unknowns, a, b, and c. We need to find the values of a, b, and c so that all three of these equations are correct. To do this, we first of all number the equations, so the first one 1, then 2, and then 3. Now we select just two of the equations, we ignore one of them for the moment, and once we've selected those two equations, we choose one of the letters to eliminate. I'm going to choose equations 1 and 2, and I'm going to eliminate the letter a. If I'm using 1 and 2 and I want to eliminate a, I need to make sure the coefficients match. So in the first one I've got 4a, and in the second one I've got a. So what I'll do is I'll keep the first equation the same, equation 1, but then I'll take 4 lots of equation 2. So if I've got 4 lots of equation 2, I've got 4a, take away 20b, plus 12c equals 80. Now if I just subtract the equations, 4a take away 4a is 0, negative b take away negative 20b, well that's the same as negative b add 20b, so that's 19b, 2c take away 12c is negative 10c, and 31 take away 80 is negative 49. So I've managed to eliminate a from the pair of equations 1 and 2. You want to repeat this process but with a different pair of equations. So I could choose 2 and 3, or I could choose 1 and 3, it won't actually matter. So I'm going to choose equations 1 and 3, but I must eliminate a. This time I've got 4a and 3a, so I'm going to multiply both equations so that I get the coefficient 12. So if I take 3 lots of the first equation, I get 12a, take away 3b, plus 6c equals 93. And if I take 4 lots of the third equation, I get 12a plus 12b, take 4c equals 48. Now I can subtract these equations. So 12a take away 12a is 0. Negative 3b take away 12b is negative 15b. 6c take away negative 4c is just like 6c add 4c, so 10c. And 93 take away 48 is 45. So I've used two different pairs of equations, eliminated a from both of them, so I now have two equations that just have b and c in them. So I've got these two. You can now solve these equations using your normal approach for simultaneous equations. In this case, the coefficients of c already match, so we can just add the equations together here. So 19b add negative 15b is 4b. Negative 10c add 10c is 0. And negative 49 add 45 is negative 4. If you divide by 4 on both sides, you find that b is negative 1. So we found our first variable, b equals negative 1. Now we substitute negative 1 back into one of these two equations here. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to go for the second one of the two. So I've got negative 15b, so negative 15 lots of negative 1, plus 10c equals 45. Negative 15 times negative 1 is just 15. And then if I take 15 from both sides, I get 10c equals 30 in which case c equals 3. So I found the second part of my solution here, c equals 3. I just need to get a. Now I can't use any of these new equations to get a because a doesn't appear in them. So I need to return to one of my very first equations. It doesn't matter which one of the three you use, I'm going to use the first one. So I've got 4a, take away b, but I know b is negative 1, so if I take away negative 1 that's just plus 1, and then plus 2c, but I know c is 3, so that's plus 6. If you simplify this, you've got 4a plus 7 equals 31. Take away 7 from both sides, you get 4a equals 24. And then divide by 4, you'll get a equals 6. So I've now got all of my solution. I know a, b, and c. It's usually a good idea at this point just to substitute all of these values back into one of the equations to check you're definitely correct. Let's go for the second one. So the second one is a take 5b plus 3c equals 20. So a, which is 6, Take away 5b, which is 5 lots of negative 1, plus 3c, which is 3 lots of 3, needs to equal 20. Well, I've got 6. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, and 3 threes are 9, and this does indeed equal 20. This is a good check to make sure you've not made any mistakes. We did quite a lot there, so let's write down the steps. Well, the first thing we did was we labelled the equations 1, 2, and 3. Then we selected two of the equations and eliminated one of the variables. Remember, I eliminated a. Then we select another two equations, so a different pair, and eliminate the same variable. 
Then we solved the new system we had to find two parts of the solution, so we found B and C, and then we substituted those parts back into one of the original equations to find the final part of the solution. Now it doesn't matter which pair of equations you select, it doesn't even matter which variable you eliminate first. As long as you follow these steps, you'll get to the right solution. Let's try a second example. So we'll start by labelling the equations 1, 2 and 3. Now we need to select two of the equations, I'm going to go for 1 and 2 again, and eliminate one of the variables. So I'm going to eliminate b this time. Since the first one has 3b and the second one has negative b, I'll keep the first one the same, so 1, and then multiply the second equation by 3. So 3a times 3 is 9a, negative b times 3 is negative 3b, 2c times 3 is plus 6c, and 15 times 3 is 45. I'm now going to add these equations together. So 2a add 9a is 11a, 3b add negative 3b gives me 0, 6c add 6c is 12c, and 5 add 45 is 50. So there's my first equation. This time I'll use equations 2 and 3. I'll keep equation 3 the same, so 5a plus 4b take 4c equals 10, but for equation 2 I'm going to times it by 4. So 3a times 4 is 12a, negative b times 4 is negative 4b, 2c times 4 is plus 8c, and 15 times 4 is 60. Now I can add the equations together, so 5a add 12a is 17a, 4b add negative 4b gets you 0, negative 4c add 8c is 4c, and 10 add 60 is 70. So I now have two equations with two unknowns, you notice there's no b in these, so we can solve these using the normal method. I'm going to eliminate c here, so what I'll do is multiply the second equation by 3, so 17a times 3 is 51a, and 4c times 3 is 12c, and 70 times 3 is 210. Now I can subtract the equations to eliminate c, so 11a take away 51a is negative 40a, 12c take 12c is 0, and 50 take 210 is negative 160. If you divide both sides of this by negative 40, you'll get a equals 4. So we've got our first part of the solution. We now substitute a back into one of these two equations, I'll go for the top one since it has smaller numbers. So 11 times a, so 11 times 4, plus 12c equals 50, 11 times 4 is 44, and then we subtract 44 from both sides, we'll get 12c equals 6, in which case c equals a half, 0 0.5. We now pick one of the original three equations to substitute both of these back into to find b. I'm going to go for the first one, so 2a, but a is 4, so that's 8, plus 3b, plus 6c, but c is 1 half, so 6c is 3, equals 5. So we have 3b plus 11 equals 5, take 11 from both sides and you'll get 3b equals negative 6, in which case b equals negative 2. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the exam questions in the video's description what I think you should watch next and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.